The Magical Unicorn Close your eyes as I tell you a story about the magical unicorn. So with your eyes closed, you can listen to me reading this story. And while I read this story, you can begin to feel relaxed. And as I read, you can imagine this story and begin to drift off to sleep. As you drift off asleep, you can continue this story in a dream and my reading will help you feel sleepy. It will help you feel tired, and it will help you fall asleep. Cindy was a short girl with a big heart. She had light hair and dark eyes and wore a beautiful green dress. Cindy had a magical unicorn called Oracle Oracle was pure white with a long spiral pointed horn on his head. The horn was glowing white. Oracle was able to fly and when he flew it was as if he was galloping on a bridge of sparkling lights. One day when Cindy was out riding on Oracle she heard a faint little sound coming from the edge of the forest. Cindy decided to investigate, so she guided Oracle down to the ground and headed towards the noise. As she grew nearer, she noticed that the sound was coming from a tiny baby monkey that had lost its mummy. Cindy went over to the little baby monkey and could see its big sad eyes. She th saw that the monkey was scared. Don't be scared, little monkey, Cindy said in a soft, kind and caring voice. I'll help you find your mummy. Cindy didn't know yet how she was going to help the little baby monkey find its mummy, but she knew she had Oracle. Together, they would help. Cindy knew that they would find the baby monkey's mummy. Cindy picked up the baby monkey and helped it onto Oracle's back before climbing onto the saddle herself. Once on Oracle, Cindy decided to go deeper into the jungle in search of the monkey's mummy. She didn't know where to start looking, but Oracle was a magical unicorn. Oracle was able to see into the past and the future. Cindy whispered into Oracle's ear, can you look back and see the past and find out where the monkey came from? Cindy then had to count down from 10 to one and on the count of one, Oracle would get an image in his mind of when the baby monkey last saw his mummy. Ten, Cindy counted. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Cindy hoped that this would work. She held on to the baby monkey in a comfortable and caring embrace. Five. Four. Three, two, one. On the count of one, Oracle got an image in his mind of the baby monkey's mummy swinging through the trees. The baby monkey was hanging on to his mummy when all of a sudden he slipped and fell as his mummy bumped into a tree. He landed on the ground and it looked like his mummy tried to find him. She would probably still be there looking for him. The baby monkey had also tried to find his mummy and it looked like they had both gone looking for each other in different directions. Cindy and Oracle knew where to start looking for the baby monkey's mummy now. 
they flew over to the bit of forest where the baby monkey had fallen off. They tried to listen for the sound of the mummy monkey, but they couldn't hear anything. They went deeper into the forest and called out for the baby monkey's mummy, but still they didn't get any reply. The baby monkey looked sad and scared. All he wanted was his mummy. Cindy comforted the baby monkey and stroked his head, helping him to fall asleep comfortably. She wanted to find his mummy before he woke up. A Cindian oracle kept on searching, following the path that the baby monkey's mummy had taken while looking for her son, Cindy had an idea. Cindy remembered that when Oracle flies, it is as if he's flying on a bridge of sparkling lights. So she thought if Oracle could fly in the sky in the pattern of the words, baby monkey cool, maybe the mummy monkey would see it and know to cool out. That way, they could hear it, then they would know where the mummy monkey was. Oracle flew up high above the forest and flew in a pattern, making the words baby monkey cool. They then flew down lower to see if the mummy monkey had seen it and was cooling. There was no cool. Then they flew a bit deeper into the forest and flying over this bit of forest, they made the pattern, baby monkey cool in the sky again. Cindy wasn't going to give up hope. The mummy monkey couldn't have gone much further into the forest from where the baby monkey had been dropped. Cindy and Oracle flew even deeper, still into the forest, high into the sky, and once more made the pattern baby monkey cool. All of a sudden, Cindy could hear the sound of a monkey calling out from below, and beaming smile spread across her face. She knew instantly that this was the mummy monkey. Cindy patted Oracle on the side of the neck, and with that, they flew down towards the sound of the monkey calling. As they got closer to the top of the forest, they could see a mum monkey jumping around and calling out. Oracle galloped over to the mummy monkey. She instantly saw her baby asleep in Cindy's arms. Cindy could see the happiness in the monkey's eyes at seeing her son and in seeing that he was all right. Cindy handed over the baby monkey and as she did, he woke up. He looked excited to see his mummy. He climbed into her arms and gave her a big hug before jumping back over onto Oracle and giving Cindy a cuddle. The mummy monkey also hugged Cindy and gave her a piece of fruit as a gift. Cindy and Oracle knew this wasn't going to be the last time they saw these monkeys. They'd made some new friends now. The monkeys swung off into the trees and disappeared deep into the forest. With this, Cindy gave Oracle a little nudge with her feet. He trotted up into the sky and galloped back towards her house. Once home, Oracle went into his stables and settled down for the night, and Cindy went indoors. Cindy told her mum all about her adventures, about how she had found a baby monkey and helped the monkey find its mummy, and about how happy she was to see the monkey so happy. Cindy's mum praised Cindy for how kind and caring she had been and told Cindy it was now her bedtime. Cindy went up to bed. Her mum tucked her in 
and read her a bedtime story. This made Cindy very sleepy. Her mum then kissed Cindy gently on the forehead before saying, Good night, Cindy. Sleep well. Cindy then fell asleep comfortably and slept all the night.